Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Son of Jesus. Be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, you are standing out. Hear me very well. You are standing out. You are standing out. In other words, God has put you in another level of life. In another level of life where you are expected to be different. That is why you see that you are a different person among others. So don't try to force yourself to fit in. God has placed you in another level. It is God who single-handedly pick anyone that he wants to pick. Even when that one is not qualified with the way the world sees the person. God is the one that pick, and that God has picked you and put you in His own way, and put you. He said the Bible record. He said we are not the one that called Him; He called us. He has chosen us. You know, we are the chosen of God. He is the one that choose. He is the one that choose. Glory to Jesus, glory to the Father. You must understand that you are not a regular person, so you can't live a regular life. In other words, you can't live like every other person. You can't live like every other person. What is wrong is wrong and what is right is right. No matter how the world wants to make it look like, oh, like what is wrong is right, is freedom, is freedom of speech. No. There is no freedom of speech in her fire. There is no freedom of speech. That is something we should always remember. You see all this agenda that they are pushing on us. Oh, it is free. Somebody can decide to live how he or she wants. It is a lie. Our life does not belong to us. So we don't have to live it the way we want. We cannot live our life the way we want. Because the life does not belong to us. If the life has belonged to us, I tell you there are people who, who will not have died. If we are the owner of our soul, the owner of life, there are people who will not have died. I believe it is only the poor that will not be dying. Those who cannot acquire the life to service the engine of life. They are the ones maybe who will not be dying. I'm telling you, if life belongs to us, you see even this word power we are talking about, <laughs> They will do more than what we are seeing right now. They will call us and they will just remove one hand and say, well, you are not qualified to have two hands. Your hands are too big. They will remove one and they will keep one. You know? So you are not a regular person. Don't live your life as if, oh, you are a regular person. You don't do regular things. You are called to stand out. An extraordinary life, a life that is careful in God, knowing that this life does not belong to us, even our worst, we don't have the freedom to it. It is God that gives it. So we should not get deceived and get carried away and thinking that, oh, life is, is life is personal, oh, it's personal, life is you can just go, I can do whatever I want, this, that, no. No, we can't do whatever we want. No, we can only do what God wants. What pleases man? What pleases God, sorry. What pleases God? And what pleases our conscience? When God is approved approve of it, it does not mean the approval of man anymore. That is for you to know that you are not a regular person. So everyone cannot just begin to walk on the same road. You are not a regular person. The Bible said, come out among them and be ye separated. You are separated from the regular. And the Lord has put you in another level. A level of an extraordinary. 
in this level of life child of god it is not an easy thing i must tell you this level of striding and this level of coming out it is more than just saying it it is not as easy as you think because the ones that are living a regular life they will come for you because it is only few who are living that extraordinary life that God have chosen you to be a part of. So let's not live our life as if it belongs to us. It belongs to God. You know, I was speaking to somebody a few, few, few times ago and the person did something that really struck my mind. And I told the person, remember, life does not belong to you. And I told him, remember, even if you are doing this, you feel that no one is watching. You have your freedom to do whatever you want. You are bringing children and there are generations to come after you. If the kingdom of God have not come, if judgment have not come, I said, remember. The life does not belong to anyone. It belongs to God. At the end of it all, it is six feet. So who can go to the grave with his marshal? with his cars, with everything, with a regular life that they want to live, with that life of freedom, with that, who can go? No one. The only thing that is going with us, it is our salvation. It is our salvation. So that the power of the grave will not be able to hold us down when Christ come again. Hallelujah. I pray for you, child of God. The grace for you to choose right and live that extraordinary life. Let it be upon you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I am your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.